What's going on guys? I'm Brendan with B Cooks Exotics. Today I'm going to be showing you guys an unboxing from Reptile Deli. So it's pretty much just an insect order. So it's the first time I've done an online order. Um, so I'm going to be taking you guys along as I unbox this. So like I said, this was my first order doing anything online. I've gotten through them through the expos, um, but since the expos haven't happened recently and aren't coming in the foreseeable future, I ended up going with them online. So right off the bat, I mean, the, the, the packaging looks pretty decent. Like they have, they make it look like a pretty important little package. They got the priority mail stickers on every single side, along with this paper that says live insects and then on the top it has the live insects handle with care and then it has the rush parable on the side perishable um, but so they make it look like a pretty important little package all the posting was right here like my address and stuff you guys don't need to see that so I took that off already um, but in here there should be 500 dubias 500 crickets uh, 500 super worms and the 500 wax worms so this is the best view I can really get for you guys, so sorry if you guys don't like it, but at the end of the day, it's just an unboxing. It's just kind of showing my experience with this company, and if you guys want to order them, it's pretty much going to be a review. So, right off the bat, they just got some paper. They got the 200, 250 wax right there. They always look pretty healthy. I'll do end up, end up. I gotta end up sorting them out anyway, so I'll do some B-roll that. But there's that 250. There's the other 250. They're all plump worms. A lot of them at the surface too. You don't see any brown dead ones yet. You know, you never really do with them. And then we got we got the dubias in here. I'll do some B-roll of opening this up. Got the 500 medium dubias. Got the 500 supers. Supers, last time I got them from at an expo, they were in a box. So it's kind of weird that they're in a bag now, but it makes more sense. There's more breathing room for them and stuff. So that makes sense. But there's the 500 of those. And we got the box of crickets, which is pretty much the equivalent to what we always get at the shop. So these should be three quarter inch. I don't know if they mark them. Yeah, three quarter inch, 500. And this is the invoice at the bottom. We'll pull that out. Yeah, you can see three quarter inch, 500. All right, so yeah, we'll start off with the super worms. This is 500 large super worms. They come in this nice breathable bag for them. Um, pretty nice it's basically a snake bag but I already pre-cut it just for the ease so let's get them out so I send them with the newspaper then they actually have something to grab onto besides each other which is nice and it makes it so much easier to sort through them I hate when you get stuff in the sawdust um, I know the wax worms are gonna be like that but I hate when you get stuff like that because sorting through them, it's just a pain. It's such a pain. So here it's nice, you can just shake them out. They also sent them with some carrot for them to eat for a bit. That'll be nice. Yeah, you can see they're also eating the paper. So this is what give or take 500 large super worms looks like. See there's not really any, I'm sure if I really sorted through possibly one, but I doubt that. No deads. The white one right there is just a fresh malt. And then there's all some still in here. I'm going to keep this in there with them for a bit. Just because I'd rather them not on top of each other like this. But you can see they're nice. Fat. They're all fat.
good quality feeders. Will it be good? You'll love them. Next, we're going to do the 500 medium dubia roaches. They're also in a nice breathable bag. It's not really a snake bag or anything. It's then stapled across the thing right there to keep them intact. So we're going to open this guy up. And I have a culture. I'm going to throw these guys in. A nice little bioactive. I'm going to speed through this so you guys don't have to watch it. So this is what the unboxing looks like of the 500 medium dubia roaches. They're all a pretty good size, I'd say. They're definitely, definitely bigger than smalls, for sure. But you can see all that. A lot of them are fresh malts, so you can see that little dude, the white ones. The white ones aren't albinos or leucistics or anything, they're just fresh fresh malts it means they're getting bigger but a lot of these are going to end up going in the colony to try to expand that there's a whole bunch more and a lot of them are going to be leopard gecko feeders be nice to get some serious size on the on the leopards so be nice but all pretty healthy a lot of them are molting right now a lot of the ones flipped over you can see the fresh malts coming through and they're probably just in shock from them being taken out of the bag and now in this little all right the last ones that are going to be going in these tubs is the 250 wax one is for one of my friends so i'm not going to be opening that one i'm going to keep one of them sealed for her and then this will just yeah you can see there's yeah i'm going to end up sorting through them all anyways so But yeah, look at how much of a pain that is to sort each worm through these shavings. But nice fat worms. You guys can see. Kind of. All the worms rummaging about. So yeah, you can see there's like one, two, three, four, five. So there's a couple dead on arrivals, but it's expected, you know, if you've ever been dealing with wax, then six, even, you know, 10, 20 worms out of 250, that's, that's a light. So you gotta be, you gotta, you gotta be gracious what you can get, but you can see them fatties. So those would be nice to feed out. So the crickets, I'm just going to be put in, in one of these big Sterilite containers that you can just get at Walmart. Um, but yeah, crickets, the most fun one to open. Um, so yeah, anyone that's opened crickets before, you know that it's not the, it's not as easy as uh, like super worms, you know. But it's not hard, it's just sometimes they get a little jumpy and it's uh, a little bit of a pain. So, but, but yeah, that's why I use one of the bigger containers like this, so that way it's just... So this right here is 500 three quarter inch crickets, so, see most of them are still on. coffee holders <laughs> but you can see they're all, all good sized adults like so but and there's the little food most of them I end up just throwing right into the enclosures like my okay so if you guys want to skip through this you guys can I'm pretty much going to be explaining why I ordered what I did order and then the quantity that I got and then how I do feel about the order in general in that order so pretty much I ordered the Dubia Roaches because I need to start up my culture. I have the culture going. I only got a couple actual adults um, and I just want more to add to that culture in order for it to get booming at some point because I would like to just have a nice couple cultures of Dubia Roaches going because if you guys don't know, it's one of pretty much 
the most nutritious thing to be feeding like anything pretty much anything anything that eats any insects for the most part dubia roaches are just they're right up there on protein and a lot of other nutrients for them so it's nice to really get to grow animals well fast uh, get nice healthy robust animals um, they're just nice and they're easy to colonize too so next thing I ordered was wax worms wax worms are great because they're just super high in fat so they're great to mix in for leopard geckos to get the nice fatty tails on them and stuff like that um, they're also nice to like I tong feed them to my gargoyle geckos and my crested geckos um, and it's nice to get some additional fat into them too they'll pretty much take any worms off of tongs if you guys didn't know that um, I've never had great success with them taking out of actual dishes um, but usually especially if you handle them quite a bit they get used to you on, being on your hands and stuff then you can you can tong feed them them and it's nice super worms the other one i ordered um they're pretty much just a bigger bigger meal worm for the most part they're good for like just bigger more dominant predators um so i have them for my veiled chameleons i got them for my juvenile tegu um i got them for some of the bigger leopard geckos i mix in a couple of them for them uh, every week but mainly my murius puffers uh, my freshwater murius puffers also known as the potato puffer um, they love just destroying those things so and then i know i shit on them sometimes but crickets um crickets are a good thing to mix in um they're also a good thing to just have in an enclosure um, instead of like worms that hide and stuff like that until my dubia roach colony gets to where I do want it to be uh, they're pretty much my main staple for my toke geckos um, along with I do put soup worms and mealworms in there let them attach into beetle turn into beetles and then they go to town on those as well um, but usually just crickets is pretty much the staple with them along with my milk frogs I make sure to dust them in calcium I tuck them in there um, and they go to town on them just because they're always moving around it's something you can have in there for them on a regular basis which is nice um, my tokes are also a wild caught pair so I'm, I don't have them out handling them stuff like that I can't I don't really tong feed them. Once I have them in a bigger vivarium like I'd like to do, I might start doing tong feeding just because they'll be easier to find. Right now they're just in a medium low exo and that's not really it's not really what they should be in. I wanna have them in I wanna have them in like an extra tall medium or something like that, and then get my archer fish on the bottom and stuff. That's another thing that the crickets I got for is my clouded archer fish that I have in a tank down here. Um, they love just smacking down crickets. They love smacking down pretty much any insects for the most part. Um, but those are those are cool fish, safe to say. They are cool fish. So. Today, this order I definitely can't complain with. Um, it's pretty much what I expected from them. Prices were a little bit cheaper than at the expos, just like they've said in person at the expos. They say their online prices are cheaper based off of them not having the overcost fee from being at an expo. Um, so definitely can't complain you know definitely probably gonna be ordering from them again if you guys do only have like one small animal then you probably don't need to be doing orders with them um just i mean the you know you can if you really want to but it's truly up to you guys um it's just better for like more of a bulk thing i'd say just because you're gonna end up be you're gonna end up getting too many feeders and you're gonna be going through you know unless you do start your own colonies great great way to start out great way to kind of get going especially with dubious they do sell adult breeders and stuff like that so it's an awesome awesome source for them and stuff like that awesome source for great quality feeders so hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing hope it showed you guys you know a decent reputable source to go through um however it is the first unboxing i've done with them but i've had many experiences with them at expos and the quality is the same and the price is better um so definitely would recommend them so if you guys got a channel uh, please like, comment, subscribe this video uh, and to the channel, and that'd be greatly appreciated. Hope you guys enjoyed this content. Um, we're going to have a lot more coming. And then with all this insects, we're going to have to be doing a feeding video. So expect that within the next week or so. So that'd be cool. Thank you.